This hack tip is brought to you by Hack5 and viewers like you. Support us directly at hackshop.com. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morrison. Today, we are checking out ZenMap. Yay! ZenMap is the graphical user interface version of Nmap, and that's available for Mac, Windows, and Linux, so you can get it anywhere. It is free, and it basically just takes all of those different commands that we've learned up till now and sticks them in a really easy to use front end that anyone can learn, because it's super, super simple. So installations for ZenMap and walkthroughs can be found over at nmap.org. Today, I'll just walk you through some of the simple steps to get ZenMap working on your Linux computer. So first off, if it's not installed yet, go ahead and use sudo apt-get install ZenMap to install it. And then once it's installed, you just type sudo ZenMap to open up the GUI. So I'll do that, sudo ZenMap, and I'll put in my password which is super hard and complicated for everyone to remember. Ha 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 ha. And I'll move this into frame for you guys and make it look all pretty. There we go. Okay, so this is what ZenMap looks like. Kind of simple, looks super, super easy to use. So up at the top, you're going to see a line for the target. This is the line that you're going to put in your target's IP address, such as mine, which will be my usual 10.73.31.74. And you also see a drop down for any of the other ones that are similar that you've used in the past in ZenMap because it'll save them all. Now, as you type your target, you'll also see the command underneath there will change. So this is the command that you would use in your terminal if you were just using regular Nmap. And it should look awful familiar at this point because we've gone over every single one of those options. Now under profile, you can also choose your type of scan that you want to use because a whole bunch are built in. So some of the options would be there's an intense scan, intense scan with UDP. Uh, there's a regular scan down here, which does just the default scan through Nmap. Uh, the ping scans listed right here, this is going to scan, uh, discover which hosts are up and running. And then there's several versions of that intense scan up here, which is going to quickly scan, give version detection, give you a verbose output. And it also does an ICMP echo ping. So every time you change one of the things in the target or the profile section, so for example, I could choose the ping scan, you'll notice that the command line also changes. So it changes to SP, ping scan, PE, PA with a whole bunch of different ports, and then the IP address of my target. It's very, very simple to use. And then once you hit scan, your scan is going to commence and you'll get an output that's very simil similar to what you will see in the terminal. So I'm gonna choose to do, I'll just do a regular scan because that one's pretty quick. So nmap 10.73.31.74, hit scan over in the corner. And you'll notice this little button right here starts moving. So that tells you that it's currently working. Once it stops, you'll be able to hit details over in the section over there, and you'll have all the information that you would normally get in your output. So it looks just like what you would get in the terminal. Now this is just breaking the ice with ZenMap, so I'll be right back with more after a word from our sponsor. The Hack Shop is Hack5's premier store for all of your pen testing needs, including one of my favorites, the USB rubber ducky. It looks like a flash drive and it types like a keyboard. You guys know that because I've mentioned it before and it's awesome. Type scripts into a computer crazy, crazy fast like this week's favorite from Null Zero. It'll sch schedule a daily FTP upload of your favorite file, saving you lots and lots of time. That's pretty cool. And of course, we couldn't do this show without your support, so we would like to thank you with something special. You can use the coupon code snubs with any order from the hack shop for your very own signed hack tip stickers. Thank you so much for supporting the show. We are back with ZenMap. So let's go ahead and get straight into customizing. Say you wanna do a scan that isn't found under the profile list that we mentioned before. You didn't wanna just do a regular scan or the ping scan or a quick scan or something like that. You wanna do something completely different. Well, it's super easy. You can actually customize your own. You just go up to profile and click new profile or command. You can also edit selected profiles if you've created some in the past. So I can click on new profile 
and then this pops up. So a lot of these different options that you'll see throughout these different menus are going to look familiar as well. So you can click through the different tabs and you can choose your different options and then ZenMap will automatically create a command for you. And then when you hit save, it'll be available in the profile list. So for example, I'm gonna choose, let's see, let's do a TCP scan with, let's do a null scan. And then I will do version detection, why not? And I can also add things like scripting, target, source, other timing, all sorts of different examples. And you can also add in specifics. So if I wanted to do a max time to scan a target before it times out, I could add in, uh, I can make it do two minutes before it actually times out on a specific target. Now, luckily, all of the options listed also have help info on the right side. So if you get confused or you forgot what something means, you don't have to go back to my previous hack tips. You can just check right there because they're all very self-explanatory. Now you can run that new command that you just made. So I'll turn that off because that would take forever. And I'm gonna name this one, let's see, what am I doing, version detection? Okay, so I'll call it version detection. And then I can also add a description. This is Snubsy's version detection. Why not? And then hit save. So now when I go up here, I can go all the way down to version detection. It's gonna change to the targeted, uh, the target for this specific one. It's gonna change it to SN, SV for version detection, and map, and then I just hit scan, and it'll go ahead and run my new one. It'll scan just like normal. You'll end up with the same output that you normally would if you were running this in the terminal, and you'll get an output just like you normally would. So everything works exactly like you would expect it to. It's super, super cool and very easy to use. And now that you know how to create your own profiles and do a little bit of customization, your mission, I'm giving you a mission, is to have some fun with ZenMap. Discover all, what all of the fuss is about because next week I'll take a look at ZenMap's output options and all the different tabs involved there and some feedback from you guys after that. Now, if there is anything else that you want me to check out regarding Nmap before we end our complete series, let me know, send me a comment below or email us tips at hack5.org. Also, what software do you want me to check out next? Hmm, I'm curious. And be sure to check out our sister show, Hack5, for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your Technolust. I will be there. <laughs>